This is April 19th, 2015. This video is being made from our, my uh, Tito Nini. Um, this is uh, a demonstration of uh, my Ed Gray replication uh, theory. So uh, what I'm going to show right now is the uh, 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 explosive effect of the magnet being pulsed. Um, I'm taking uh, a magnet and I'm putting it in this tube. Um, as you can see, it is down within the uh, coil, and uh, which um, and this is a air core. Uh, there is no uh, center core to focus the magnetic flux. But as you can see, you won't need it. I'm going to stand back here a little bit and uh, try to find an angle that, that will show you show this the most effectively. I almost have to be way out here to do this, but but we'll we'll try to focus on the ceiling. How's that? Um, okay, so I will, I will turn on. This and as I pop this magnet, there, and that's the strength of what you can accomplish with uh, this. Uh, uh, kind of motor theory. Um, the magnet was actually propelled and hit the ceiling, came back down here with a force. Okay, I'm going to pause it right now and I will hook the motor up. Now that I have my uh, uh, demonstration tube out of the way, I'm going to go and uh, explain uh, some aspects of this circuitry. It's unconventional. It's unconventional because you don't have uh, a power supply going to a load and then uh, uh, to ground. It's it's uh, you're splitting the positive. So basically, you have two positives that meet at one point, and the, the point will be at the spark gap. You have the positive of the uh, AC circuit uh, being rectified, going through a limiting capacitor or a, a limiting capacitor, and then uh, the energy being stored. Uh, around 450 volts to that uh, capacitor um, that will stay charged and the discharge path will be through the um, uh, diode array here and, and then meeting over to this point here which is actually another diode. Now the di diodes are facing towards each other, so the energy can't go back the 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 way they came. It has to come go back through the load, and that will what that happens is is this unit over here is the spark uh, meeting, and what what that does is very simply uh, it's a pulsing circuit, and when when uh, uh, a magnet hits a pulse, I don't know if you can see, maybe if I turn off the light here. Um, once, there he goes. The, there will be sparks in between my uh, spark gap. It's unconventional spark gap. It's something that I've created myself. Uh, it's actually immersed in a dielectric fluid. So the impacts are, are taken and dispersed and filtered out. Um, well, when you create that spark and, and you have a higher potential that's on that charge capacitor, the spark will jump over. So you have uh, a low um, amperage, high uh, voltage that creates the spark in one circuit, and then you have a high amperage um, retained uh, potential in that uh, capacitor and it, it actually bridges the firing path 
back through ground, which it has a common ground, and that's the effect. Now, when you do that through a uh, configuration of a uh, the 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 discharge path for the capacitor actually goes through the coil. You have a high DC pulse that happens, and that's how that magnet was able to be propelled to the ceiling. As this is actually uh, a me mechanical explosion type device that that uh, uh, makes uh, that explosive power drive another magnet within here, and then drives the uh, uh, conventional uh, piston and uh, crankshaft within this, uh, it's, it's basically a uh, chainsaw engine. So I'm going to rev this up, power's on. Now note the, the spark gap in the, behind it. Okay, and there you go, Titanine. That's uh, what I've been working on.